edge computing and edge AI in particular is the secret source powering leading smart factories globally. Indeed, the move to Industry 4.0 will be a major theme of MWC 21 Barcelona. And today I'm joined by Supermicro's Jeff Sharp, who's going to tell us how the magic really happens in Industry 4.0. Jeff, great to see you again. Hey, good afternoon, good morning, Justin. And, and see the magic, I have nothing up my sleeves here, so it'll be, it'll be really a good interview. Fantastic stuff. Well, let's start with uh, a basic question, really, Jeff. Um, tell us, what is Industry 4.0? And also, are 5G and edge computing really that important to it? Um, yeah, good question, Justin. So with Industry 4.0, uh, think of the industry revolution that we've seen over the past you know, 100 to 120 years. Uh, if you think about the early days of the Industrial Revolution, when uh, you know iron production, metal production happened, you had these humongous factories building, you know, rail, then cars. Uh, then, uh, of course, Ford came into play and started modernizing the the factory to produce more and more. And then, uh, within the Industry 3.0, the third generation, we got into more, you know, compute oriented uh, manufacturing. So you started introducing more robotics, more uh, quality attributes of that manufacturing piece. And as we're getting into Industry 4.0, what we're doing is, is we're adding more artificial intelligence, more things like computer vision, uh, attributes that, uh, again, improve the quality of more sophisticated compute gear. Uh, and, and as you know, think of auto manufacturing back in the four days, very manual labor, ma very manual intensive. And now if you look at some of the um, cars of today, such as Tesla, there's so many different um, electrical components, compute components within that car. So your skill set, the type of manufacturing you have to do is so critical. So quality, um, logistics, handling both the supply chain in and out, and also the uh, the output of the product is, is really reliable on more AI uh, uh, vision type attributes. And with that said, when you're using robotics, you're using computer vision, you're using more automated effects, latency plays a big role of that. And with that role, you can't do those up in a cloud environment. So edge is so important to be able to handle the manufacturing processes of tomorrow and of today because of that low latency attribute that's required. You can't have a, a one second delay of, of managing a robot arm. The quality will not be there. Yeah, you mentioned some good examples and case studies there, Jeff. I mean, as Industry 4.0 grows, what areas are really critical to the success of digital transformation? I mean, what are you seeing going on now? So if you think about uh, a manufacturing plant 10 years ago and, and you walk down, especially a major industry plan of building, let's say, car parts as, as a great example. And when you're seeing that, you're seeing a lot of manual labor doing quality inspection. You're seeing uh, different attributes of actually holding the piece in your hand, looking at it, inspecting it, and then moving on. Well, you don't know if that part has a solid weld to it. You don't know if the uh, microscopic paint that was attached to that part doesn't have dust just based on the human eye. So with that, you have to interject more AI type functionality, more quality attributes of your manufacturing process, both during and after. And the success of that is combining your IT-based infrastructure, meaning all your compute hardware up in the cloud and at the, the data center, all the way to the edge. And that's where that transformation is starting to occur. Are there any technical gaps as well? I mean, you talked about some of the attributes of success there, but what's missing, do you think, Jeff? I th you know, from a super micro and along with our partners, we're seeing that gap is, is putting more and more workloads at the edge, handling multiple components because power, support, management of the de these devices are so critical for the deployment of edge and the industry 4.0. So we're seeing more workloads uh, handling less power and also having better management systems within those systems today. This all sounds great, but 
a point worth making is the fact that, you know, factories, oil and gas industries, other industrial operations, um, they're often not the fastest to embrace change, Jeff. Um, so how are you, new players such as Supermicro in this space, um, how are you going to be able to convince them to implement new connected <laughs> intelligent systems that they need? Well, I think the biggest gap isn't that I think they all want the technology. Everyone out there wants to improve the quality of their products and the timing of the delivery of those products. So with that said, I think the big technical gap is the the worry of the unknown. You know, how do I implement, you know, AI in my, my network? How do I make sure everything is running as smooth as a well-oiled machine? But in this sense, that well-oiled machine is data flow. So by implementing standards, both control standards and also standards on, on how AI works from a training and inferencing technique, common platforms to reduce the risk, that's pretty much you know, at a high level what we're, our strategy is moving forward for Industry 4.0. And of course, you're also going to come up against some pretty strong legacy competition, Jeff. I mean, what are Supermicro's advantages over the established industrial automation providers or perhaps other traditionally IT-focused hardware vendors that are expanding into industrial? So we have a phased approach, uh, Justin. The phased approach is, is number one, using... Uh, what's called Industry 4.0 standards that OPAF or the Open Forum is implementing that's really kind of driven out of Germany. And, and with that said, there's a, a, a large amount of partnerships that we have and customers that we have that's taking those standards and implementing not just in a white box manner, but how we manage things like virtual machines and containers at the edge. And, and, and that phased approach goes in, we don't have to replace the sensors um, what you're doing is, is you're adding more intelligence back into the sensors, doing analytics and computer vision, and doing it in a way that you're not shutting your manufacturing floor down. You're doing it in a, a phased approach method. And we'll go into a little bit more detail, actually a lot more detail during our webinar Great talking with you as always, Jeff. And as you say, for those viewers that want to find out more on the subject, there is a webinar very much focused on transformation at the industrial edge, uh, available on mobileworldlive.com with Jeff and a host of guest speakers. Thanks for joining us again, Jeff.